What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today... We are going to go over some market talk. A lot of you guys have been waiting, and I'm going to go over this video. And honestly, I'm thinking about a different video after this, some investments. Before we get into the video, if you guys could please drop 120 likes on this video. Uh, we'll do some empty giveaways on my Twitter down below. So before we get to it, make sure to follow my Twitter. Drop that sub because we're getting closer and closer to 7K. Also, um, if you guys would please... Um, like I said, follow the Twitter before we get into the video, we're going to run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And yeah, so today we got a lot of stuff to talk about. I have not, I didn't post a market video yesterday. The market did crash. There's a lot of new cards and a lot of stuff we have to go over. A lot of stuff that I'm honestly kind of hyped about. So if you guys do not know, 2K has dropped some crazy content, creating a huge market crash. And here's how. So I'm going to explain the market crash to you guys. If you don't know what the market crash is, this is what it is. So pretty much since they dropped so many cards, all these cards are like so many cards are now outdated meaning their prices have dropped a ton so this ralph samson card is absolutely absurd in my opinion best center in the game i don't care i don't care so i'm gonna compare him to kareem like kareem's obviously better but dude the price difference um so here we go burst off they're both 99.99 this guy got a two inch high difference he's obviously a little bit worse but I'm telling you, he plays like a god. I promise you, please just use the card and thank me later. He is a goat. All right, but enough said. So right now in my team, so many cards are cheap. The snipe filters are going crazy. And right now, I have a lot of cards you should invest in. I'm going to save that for another video. Um, we're probably going to have that video later. On investments but this video is pretty much just telling you what has happened to the market and what you guys should do so first off obviously hop in the ami filter because it's so deadly and not only that these cards have destroyed the ami filter so now the ami filter is around 1100 mt now um a tip for you guys on this filter it's gonna be hard to snipe considering the fact that these cards are loaded like the jail okafor and i forgot the other guy but you kind of want to stay away from the Jihil Local 4 and the other one, considering the fact they really don't have value unless you want to invest in them. But we'll take we'll talk about that in another video. Um oh, that's a snipe. <sighs> got him. So right there, got a quick 1k snipe. This filter is the best filter in the game. Definitely try it out. So right now, should you guys sell your cards? Should you guys buy your cards? Honestly, I'm gonna say the market's kind of crashed. If you have your team from whatever. This is the good thing. Um, so pretty much, market has crashed. But since there's so many different cards that you could play with now, you could pretty much do whatever you want. Like, you could sell. You could buy later. I wouldn't recommend selling if you haven't. But if you have your MT, right now is a really good time to buy cards. Considering the fact, also playing TTO online, TTO offline, they have a lot of good stuff loaded in this game. You guys should definitely try it out. I would not recommend... Playing those solo challenges for the 150 games and get the Opal Harden, in my opinion. Because then again, bro, Opal Harden, why would you get Opal Harden when you could just get Galaxy Opal MJ for like two something? Um, some Galaxy Opals are down, some are up. Honestly, if you have Vince Carter or MJ, it's not a bad time to sell. It's only a matter of time before Flash Super Packs come out again. Um, Tracy McGrady's really expensive. We got a ton of cards. Like, honestly, in the comments, let me know what you guys want to see. Like, what kind of cards do you want me to want to see? Like, um, should I sell this card? Should I sell that card? What should I do with this card? And honestly, 
in my opinion since these are out for five more days honestly i will see i think i'll see these prices drop a lot besides i think mellow and magic because i did see their price actually go up as you can see mellows up to 588 he was at 440 yesterday and magics is gonna probably be 500,000 mt so their prices are probably gonna rise everybody else ralph odin and jimmer because since they have a lot less rarity they're gonna go down in price and now with this ralph and odin they are gods they honestly are interesting cards to think about considering the fact they're actually so usable i feel like some godly centers like i don't know maybe bam abadio is gonna lose value because as the game goes on that's why i always say sell now as the game goes on better cards top better cards so over time you're gonna see these cards kind of get outdated and I'm going to show you another card that's probably outdated now. So Bam for 67k, bro. He was around 75k for a while. He was probably even cheaper yesterday during the market crash. And I want to show you one thing that has probably dropped a ton. And I'm thinking about it. It's got to be Moments Zion and Moments Aaron Gordon. They had to have dropped a ton. They got to be buyouts. Because if they're not, I'll be confused. So yeah, like I said, man, Aaron Gordon has dropped a ton zion's actually around the same price because he's a hype beast but it just shows how over time cards do get outdated this car was about 100k for a while he was actually even cheaper now also another car i want to talk about during the market crash bro when they dropped opal bird pink diamond birds price took a hit because dude the opal isn't actually that much if he's all right so he has one buyout clearly his buyout was a lot worse yesterday cards are start starting to rise so honestly if you want to sell i would recommend selling your cards later because cards are starting to rise but this is what i'm saying if there's a high overall pink diamond that you know that i have a chance of getting a, uh, a diamond or i mean a galaxy opal pretty much it's just like every time i say sell now you should probably take advantage because if you don't take advantage of the sell now when i say sell now you could get screwed like for instance bro vince carter diamond if you add him he dropped a ton if you have Kevin Durant, oh, they actually have a good one. Ben Simmons um, glitched, dropped a ton because they dropped that and the locker code. Uh, what else do we got? We got Pink Diamond AI. Now the Galaxy Opal is about 100k. The Pink Diamond AI is probably so cheap. And honestly, it just shows that over time, bro, these cards, when I say sell now, you should definitely take, like, look at this card. This card is night, like, this card is that cheap. We're talking about 50k for a pink diamond Allen Iverson. That's actually this good. 16 Hall of Fame badges. This card's really good. And to see this card at 50k is kind of crazy. Considering the fact that this card was like hundreds of thousands of MT not too long ago. And right now, you guys need to stay prepared. You guys, honestly, it wouldn't be a bad time to sell now. And also, right now, I would honestly recommend bid sniping. Because bid sniping with the market flood and everything... Like a ton of Jimmer for debts are flooded. So if you guys know his price, like that one for 29k, that is a snag. I don't know how much he goes for, but I know bid sniping might be hot. So definitely hop on the bid snipe. Definitely follow these methods. If you want to sell your team, honestly, it's really not a bad idea. And also, if you guys want to make MT, make sure to hit up these new filters: Pink Diamond, Campus Legends. I would definitely pay attention to these filters. Yesterday, I missed a Ralph Samson for 20k. You could probably snipe out a ton of Jimmers quickly. Also, if you want to try out the Diamond one or the Diamond filter in general, pretty much, bro, every filter is going to be popping. Whatever works for you, let me know. Any MT methods, let me know down in the comments. I'll expose it to the community, and we'll be happily ever after. We'll all make MT together. If any of you guys please have methods, please drop it down below. I kind of want to get it out there. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, like I said in my other video, man, this filter right here, NBA Series 2, bro, it is so dirty. Definitely try it out. And also, honestly, that's really all I got for the video. I forgot I have this Pink Diamond Kawhi. If you guys have any cards in sets on the Hawks, on whatever team, bro, you should probably sell the cards considering the fact that these cards are so expensive. But yeah, honestly, that's really all I got for the video. I hope I did fix my mic issue and whatnot. I had a little mic issue, if you guys remember. I think I fixed it. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Make sure to drop that sub. Make sure to follow me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.